Hi guys, this is the second normal distribution example. So be sure if you missed the first one, you go back to the very basic one and also watch the video on the normal dis standard normal distribution or the table that we're using for to answer all these questions. Okay, so once again, we're still in the standard normal distribution where mu is equal to zero and sigma is equal to one. And the second question comes in the form of what proportion? So I'm using the word proportion instead of percentage here, just to show you that they're quite interchangeable. What proportion of the data is between z equals negative 0.93 to z equals 0? Now, if we go to our table before we start anything, we'll see that this z table that we have here is limited to only positive values, as you can see going over here and over here right we only have positive values but one of the important things about the normal distribution is that whatever happens on the right side of the mean is exactly the same on the left side this is a symmetric distribution and it's symmetric about the mean if you fold this along if you fold this distribution along this on, about the mean you'll get a mirror image of each other so therefore the table only needs to tell us information about this side of zero and then we can just do a little flip of our mind and be able to answer any question regarding this side with z equals negative values okay so therefore the table just ha doesn't have to be many pages long it can just be one page like the one we're looking at here okay See, this is just one page. It goes from z equals 0 all the way down to z equals 3.59. And I get that 9 here, this top guy over here. Okay? All right. If the normal distribution is still a little shaky for you, go back and watch my video on just uh, the anatomy of a normal distribution, the basics of it. Okay? And that'll help you understand more about what we're looking at here. So let's go back to the question. Let's first thing I suggest to always do is to draw a picture. So these pictures. So this is a normal distribution and it's the standard normal. So the center is zero. Okay. This is my z axis, so I'm just gonna label it like that. I want from negative z equals negative 0.93 so that's definitely to the left of 0 right to 0 so what I'm gonna end up shading is let me choose a cooler color this area here this area corresponds to what the question is asking me right so basically I just converted the question into a picture and this picture will serve as my map to answer the question. Okay, so let's now look up z equals negative 0.93. And of course, as I just told you, we're not going to get it. But what we know about the normal distribution is that whatever happens on the left is exactly the same on the right and vice versa. So this is exactly the same question as we did in question one which was what's the area from 0 to positive 0.93 this these two pictures have the same area okay so notice that this one goes from z equals 0 to z equals 0.93 and I shaded that area so that's on the positive side of 0 and this picture shows what we actually want which is from negative 0.93 to 0 so it's the mirror image they're the mirror image of each other on the opposite side of 0 so they're the area that I've shaded on each is exactly the same so knowing that information we can go to the table and look up positive 0.93 so here's z equals 0.9 and here's Three. So there's z equals 0.93. We kind of square in and we get exactly the same proportion or percentage that we got last time.
32.38%. So that is our answer here. So I'll point, just to be clear, as I warn my students, try to keep, at least in the beginning, all percentage proportions above the axis, meaning this axis. Okay, try to write all your percentages up here and all your z-scores down here. Z-scores are deceivingly sometimes similar to percentages. And when you're starting out, it's very easy to confuse z equals 0.93 with something like a percentage. This is totally not the case, right? This is totally wrong, OK? So by one of the th things you can do to kind of prevent this mistake from happening is to try to, at least in the beginning, adhere to this kind of rule that to keep your percentages, at least if you're drawing these pictures, above the axis. This 32.38 represents the area in here, OK? 0.3238 is the area in here and expressed as a percentage 32.38 percent. Z equals negative 0.93 is below the axis. I'm never going to write this guy up here. Okay? And by the way, of course, percentages can never be negative, right? Percent of uh, uh, probabilities have to be between 0 and 1. Okay? That's another kind of help. Uh, if you get a pr probability less than zero, you can catch yourself. Uh, you know you did something wrong. Or greater than one, same thing. You know you did something wrong. Okay, so it turns out the answer to question two is exactly the same as the answer to question one that we did in the previous video. Except that we flipped this area onto the other side of zero. And I wanted to, I wanted to do this so that you can appreciate the symmetry of the normal distribution that you've definitely heard about in your class. Now you see that that the same thing from z equals 0 0.90 to z equals 0.93 is equal to the z equals 0 to z equals negative 0.93. Those two areas are the same. All right. So I hope this was helpful. Now we'll move on to a slightly more complicated questions and hopefully let go of this z equals 0.93. All right, so be sure to subscribe, go back and watch the previous videos if this was a little shaky. I'm going to go on to more complicated examples slowly though, okay? So till next time, have a great day.